we have is a cedar representation of the Samish legend of the Maid of Deception Pass. This woman's name is Kokwalaut, and she lived in the Rosario village just outside Deception Pass on Fidalgo Island. It's not a creation story, but it's a defining story. It ties us very uniquely to a particular geographical location and to all of the riches that the sea provides. The plants were dying and there was no more food for the peoples. This is all about what she sacrificed. We know that in 1847 there were 2,000 Samish living on Samish Island and by treaty time in 1855 we were down to 150. Grandma was always shh, shh, shh. We're not supposed to talk about it. We're not supposed to acknowledge our people. So when I heard the story, I felt relieved and thankful and um, blessed, actually. My grandmother is up there in the little like studio apartment thing. So we actually have one, two, three, four generations in this house still, just like it was in the long house, yeah. all the generations in one spot. We always say that that's where uh, our culture begins and it ends, our family. Ken wanted to provide a focus for them all to come home. And uh, he sure did it. <laughs> we put together endless <laughs> notebooks to send back for our federal recognition. And the next thing you know, the government would say, nope, you don't exist. And then we'd have to start all over again. I had this model of the Maiden Deception Pass rolled up in a beach town, rolled it out and stood it up. And it was all over but the boat. Sure, I can carve that. No sweat, I'm a carver. The closer we got to it, the less sure I was. The day the log arrived, I was sure that I couldn't. Among folks in the state park realm is, is considered to be the crown jewel of the system. We believe as the currents flow back and forth through Deception Pass, her hair may still be seen drifting gently with the tide and that she is always there to look out for the welfare of the Samish people. The story of the water and the rocks and the trees and the fish, the story of carving as a tradition, as a part of a culture. It's not just the story of the maiden, but it's the story of the Samish people. The sacrifice that she made for her family and her tribe is timeless. We don't know how many more years any of us have to walk this land. And maybe this will be something that prevails. Here's something that came from the land, the spirit of the land, the spirit of the sea. Maybe they'll, maybe they'll still know that then. I hope so. <laughs>